Let's see how to rename a workflow status. The company wants to rename one of their statuses inspection to in code review. All their development teams are doing more types of code review now in this step so the inspection name has become obsolete. And they feel the new name will be easier to understand especially for non-developers who may view the board. But be careful when renaming statuses as this will affect any filters created using the existing status. Ensure everyone is aware of the change. Also ensure your status and transition names are intuitive. People should never have to wonder what a status means or which workflow transition to use next. Since only Jira admins can access Jira administration and update statuses, I'll open a new browser window, go to the site URL, and log in as Ryan Lee. To quickly navigate to the statuses page, you can type period or gg and then type statuses to go directly there. Here on the statuses page, note the category column. The categories help you identify where issues are in their life cycle, particularly in places where a large number of issues are rolled up. For example, version details page and sprint health gadget. The category is also used to map statuses to columns when creating a new board. Let's scroll down and view the inspection status. Remember that before renaming a status, always check to see if it's in use by another workflow. Statuses can be shared by many workflows. In this case, there's only one associated workflow, TIS Dev Workflow. You can check this by clicking the one associated workflow link. You also want to think about whether the original status might want to be used again in the future. In this case, it won't as they've changed their type of code review. If another workflow is using the status or it might be used in the future, you would need to create a new status. Let's edit the inspection status and enter some details. And now we see the status has been changed on the statuses page. We can also confirm this change on the workflow administration sidebar and by viewing the TIS dev workflow. And here on the workflow diagram mode, we can see the new status. Let's see what happens in text mode. Note that this step still uses the old name. Let's update this to avoid confusion for future editors of this workflow. Note that we're now editing a draft or inactive version of this workflow and not the live workflow. No changes are made to the live workflow until you publish this draft. Finally, let's publish draft to publish the draft workflow and make it active. Each time you publish a draft workflow, you are given the option to create a backup copy. This is a good idea if you want to save the original workflow for later reuse or if you're making a lot of changes and you may need to roll them back. Next, let's configure the project's board. As William, I'll navigate back to the Teams in Space project's board, TIS Scrum. We need to rename the column heading to match the status. Recall that they can be different, but for ease of use, we'll rename both the status and the column. To do this, I'll go back to board settings. And on the column management page, I'll click the column name for inspection and change it to encode review. Now that's done, I'll go back to the board by clicking back to board. And here we confirm it now has the new heading. Let's open one of the issues in this column. Note the encode review status shown in the issue. Let's open up the status menu and click view workflow. And here we can also confirm the in review status. You can disable the view workflow link in issues by removing users from the view read only workflow permission and the permission scheme used by the project.